It helps if I unmute my microphone when I talk. I, you know, I've heard legends of such tales. We're we'll start our timer now, because the game hates it when we tab off. And I'm going to go ahead and take this moment and welcome everybody. Welcome back to the Game and Gauntlet. I am Kolthor the Barbarian. Tonight we continue the game number game number 19, Deadly Premonition. Last time when we left off, we were going to the hospital to... What were we going to the hospital for? Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot to change my audio. forgot to change my audio. Hold on. Hold on. We got to change this to stereo. Yes. Okay. Okay. Anyway, we were at the hospital going to check out the, uh, the, what am I, what's the word I'm looking for here? We're going to check out, re, analyze the body that was left at the crime scene. So legends are true. Mics do give voice. That's witchcraft, I say. Can't wait for more driving. Hopefully we've resolved the issue here. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to, I need to. Okay, 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 okay. Good. Did it crash? Yeah, yeah, it crashed. Okay, let's launch it again. <laughs> let's try that one more time. <laughs> Hopefully, we fix these horrible screaming car issue. I am going to probably have to dock this game a point for technical difficulties. But uh, just because it's a bad port. Not a bad game, but a bad port. Whether or not it's a good or bad game is yet to be determined, but so far, looking, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I'm enjoying it. Hopefully you guys are too. Now we're in it. Oh, interesting. I can select the chapter I want to go to. Hmm, that's interesting. So we're in episode one, chapter three. Previously during the investigation, oh. these puppies are making me go to another It gives you a little recap. That's interesting. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Well, hmm. that's something you don't see in a game very sure. often. George Woodman. George. Call me George. There's Call me George. There's something in this town. Today, I can begin our proof I My coffee warned me about it. My coffee warned me about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I forgot so much already. Oh, uh, yes, our street lollipop. Out in the middle of the woods. Ah, oh, yeah, freckled Fiona. Where are we at here? I guess that's the exit. Just browse around. Hello, ma'am. Observe. No relation to the case, I'd figure. That's the exit. I'm not trying to leave. Go behind the desk. Is that the farmer from the intro? They are suspects. Let's go, Zach. Check the weather. Clouds the whole day today. Ooh. Just <laughs> get money for checking the weather. How you doing, George? Let's go to the computer room. We need to find Usha. Who names her kid Usha? I feel like that's like the end of a name and he's leaving out a couple consonants. Uh, 
Why? What's going on? <laughs> That's all you gotta say to me? Alright. Yes, your doctor told us. Thank you, air to be. Thank you, air to be patient. Accept our enthusiastic congratulations and well wish on your coming event. <laughs> and be assured that we have every that we have a very personal interest in your case, and I've already taken steps to see to it. To see to T that your stay in the Palo. Alto Hospital will be will be pay us a social visit before you enter. Question mark. We want we want to mint and greet you for yours. Yes. Okay. That clearly that was missed by the QA team. That's a good English. Our town. Resources, anything of interest. Gertie. Oh. I can't even use the water fountain. What kind of a game is this? Do not enter. Oh, I want to enter. I want to go in so bad. This door, this door leads to the wards. We have little reason to go there. It's unlikely they have that many patients. That's just where they keep the crazy people, eh? Maybe I should go there. Well, Maybe me and Zach should go there. Fiona needs to check her information. No, I don't think so. No, yeah. no, we're Does good. Does the doctor like we'll need information by any chance? What do you mean? <laughs> you there's need a message on the computer. And there's and a, a giant already chest set in poster. The king passes the rook and meets the bishop. The knight takes a pawn along for the queen. What does that all mean? It's a simple puzzle. Zach, let's take him up on his challenge. You can do this, right? What? Wait. King passes rook and meets bishop. Knight takes pawn to the queen. Passes rook and meets the bishop. Knight takes a pawn to the queen. Knight takes a pawn to the queen. So the king passes the rook and meets the bishop. So we go rook, king, bishop, and the knight takes the pawn to the queen. No? Damn it. Zach, something is still missing. We need more clues. Hmm. Ed Pond, Rook, Bishop, Queen. Unless we just look around the room, maybe that's just... She's quite pretty. She looks better wearing something more fashionable than this dull uniform. Agree, Zach. Oh, yes. Maybe she's a chess master and we just don't know it. We assume too much about her. I know it relates to the chess pieces. I don't remember all the names of the pieces. Well, never mind. If you look carefully around the room, you'll see the answer clearly written. I'm sure Zach sees it too. Maybe he's a chess master? Agent Morgan, this doesn't seem to be all that simple to me. Oh, come on. You have a little knowledge of chess? This is nothing. I see. Try this again. Right. Oh, I see how they're layered. So, knight passes the rook and meets the bishop. Wait. Knight passes the rook. Actually, he passes the rook. Passes the rook and meets the bishop. 
Okay, so he moves and passes the rook, meets the bishop. So do we have to move him so we can get to the bishop? We, we're not moving chess pieces right now. Right, meets the bishop, passes the rook, meets the bishop. So the bishop takes the... The king passes the rook and meets the bishop. Is that where I goofed before? I thought knight. Yeah, okay, king passes the rook, meets the bishop. Knight takes a pawn to the queen. What? So what am I trying to solve here? I'm just trying to put them in the right order. So king passes the rook. Passes? How does the king pass the rook? Passes the rook and meets the bishop. Knight takes a pawn to the queen. Unless it's just as simple as just king, rook, bishop. Is it really that simple? Really? That's all I had to do was just... I thought I was trying to be way more clever than that. I think I've, I gave this I gave it too much credit. I just had Doctor to know what the pieces below looked with like. The deceased. <laughs> Another code. I thought I was but trying to take no into account like pants how pants the pieces move, like games. if this one moves, how far ahead it would be. Call, and I was I was way out. overthinking it. No need, George. Way overthinking the it. The message appeared with the card key. It's telling us where to use it. This is not the time to be joking around, Agent Morgan. That's a checkmate. <laughs> Dr. Usha is below with the deceased. With Anna. Below being underground, I take it. Simple. 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 Then it's time to meet the mischievous architect of this little game. Nah. <laughs> you got the key card for the underground floor. Why does it have a heart on it? I thought we were playing chess. This music. <laughs> you know what? Judging by the games you've suggested me real, I take it you love, like, mystery and detective novels. <laughs> Between from this to La Mulana, it seems to be your cup of tea. You probably read, like, Hardy Boys as a kid. Yo, what up, Mr. Woodland? How you doing? Oh, hello, ma'am. Hello, child. Let's observe them. Let's profile them. Just like Twin Peaks. In relation to the case, I'd figure. Let's observe him. No relation. I'd figure. Sleep? We can just crawl into a cot and sleep. Doing well, glad to hear. Hmm. Incorrect door, it would seem. Still looks very bad. Uh, the graphics are a little dated, but it's, it's appropriate, you know, Xbox 360, PS3 era stuff, I think. Definitely with a Japanese flair to it. We're going the right way. Right. Oh, right, it's below us. We gotta find the stairs to go down. Or elevator? Oh. oh, hello. Ah, here we go. <laughs> FF7 looks better than this? That's not fair. That's not fair, but probably true. Let's use our fancy key card. 
Was it just talking about the graphics? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been told, many people seem to think this game is, it's one of those, it's so bad, it's good. But you have to understand, two games ago I played Bad Rat Show. So, my, my bad level of tolerance is quite high right now. Even E.T. has better gameplay. Ooh, that's brutal. Shells for story buys. I wouldn't open it unless I really needed to. Hello, ma'am. Cinemax episodes still look pretty amazing. That is true. Bad Rat Show looked like a masterpiece, to be honest. I don't know what planet you're living on, but... Mm. Yeah, let's go ahead and save. Since we saw that ridiculously tough chess puzzle. So you're the architect of that clever chess puzzle, ma'am. He's on Anime Planet. <laughs> How's David? How's David on Anime Planet? Usher. Sorry to keep oh, you I'm sorry, he's on Magical ah, Girl. Man. I guess that's different. Let's get started, shall we? I was expecting a woman. Usha. Usha Johnson. Doctor. This is Agent Morgan from the FBI. Hmm, nice to meet you. I'm Usha Johnson, the doctor in this hospital. Why are his arms out like Francis this? York Morgan. Please call me York. Everyone calls me. <laughs> except everybody. Everybody calls Very him York well. except Agent everybody. York. Are you a forensic practitioner? Let's just say I've dealt with corpses before. Even Pat Teller busking That battle of wits, by the way. Did you create that yourself? Mm-hmm. I just wanted to see if our FBI agent could handle the task. I see. Well, no, by identifying people. chess I'm pieces. I'm glad you like it. that is... <laughs> we don't have much time. We need those autopsy results. That's the word I was looking for. Autopsy. Next time, try challenging us without obstructing an investigation. You've angered the monarch. You've angered the monarch. King George is very upset. From the onset of rigor mortis, the stiffening of the muscles, the time of death is estimated to be between 20 and 2200 hours. Uh, that's still quite early for such a crime to take place. Note that there Desert are two bust. exterior wounds pressure marks around the neck and a long cut running from chest to abdomen. Blood marks on her right hand tell us she was gripping something round in her right hand. Her skull is also fractured, but that is unrelated to the cause of death. It probably happened to her after she was killed. Is that where the albino snake lived? In her brain cavity? Now, I first thought death by suffocation, due to the marks on her neck. But after further investigation, I now have a different conclusion. The direct cause of death was loss of blood from the wound. Oh, so the cause of death was a giant gaping wound from her chest to her butt. No shit. Which means... She was cut up while she was still alive. Yes, uh, a sharp knife was used. It was inserted beneath the sternum and then quickly sliced downwards. Yes. The excessive loss of blood from her internal organs is what actually killed her. Probably from her, her organs are clean, just falling to her and feet. And with no skin cells from the attacker. She also doesn't appear to have been bound, nor badly Just beaten. remembered everything about this she game all at once. She was killed without resistance. The most tragic thing, however, was that she was unable to speak her story to anyone who could hear her cries. The perpetrator cut out Hannah's tongue. Well, I believe she was drugged first to phase her consciousness, and then the killer killed her. 
Now, the killer most likely has a deep, traumatized past concerning women. Oh, you think? The Is that why he gave her, he made her vagina normal. like ten times its normal size? Cutting out the tongue. Okay. Suggest a very maybe he's just got a big dick and he's okay maybe not either that or a truly hardcore sadist. Truly hardcore sadist. He must get off on watching women suffer, especially when they can't answer back. <laughs> now he watched as the blood pumped from her body as she gradually grew cold. Now, a case in Seattle in 1985 was much like... Usher, please, limit your report to your findings as a doctor. Criminal profiling is my job. <laughs> the doctor suddenly became You're a wrong, shrink. Also. Yep. Why is there excited jazz music? Fully, There's always deeply, excited jazz music playing. fully aware of what was happening to her. But, uh... uh tell me, what time did it stop raining on the night Anna was killed? Uh, just before I went to bed, right after the movie on TV ended, so around 1 a.m. What movie was it? An American Werewolf in London. Uh, directed by John Landis, 1981. <laughs> I've never so seen that movie. I've heard good things. Accompanied so. by the ending song, Blue Moon. George, would you mind if I examined Anna myself? What more do you hope to find? Maybe put on some gloves before you handle the corpse. Interesting cases like these. Where's George? George, where are you at? Let's observe George. Still no hint of a smile. There's no reason we should focus our efforts on George, but it's George. Okay, let's uh, let's see. That's uh, that's that's boobs. Yep, we've confirmed boobs. Traces of evaporated liquid around the eyes. She must have cried before she was murdered. That seems safe. Yep. We, uh, we have beautiful blonde hair, stunning, even in death. And boobs. And, uh... Observe the hand. She's neat. She's neatly wearing fake fingernails. Is that a stigmata? Uh, judging from the impression she was holding something in her hand, it was removed around six hours after death. The object was circular with a relief shaped like a peace mark. The tongue was removed. Look at the edge of the stump. Ugh. And sugar donut. Yes, we found the sugar donut hiding in her mouth. From her lack of resistance, I'd say that Anna's injuries happened very quickly. Infection control. Speak, yeah. She was then left to cry herself to death. Zack, it's all starting to come together. The perpetrator stayed with her for at least two hours until it stopped raining. At the estimated time of her death, it was still raining. But you can still see tear marks on her cheeks. That means she was killed under a roof somewhere. Hmm. She was then carried into the woods after it stopped raining. Hmm. <clears throat> there, there's one other thing. Her tongue was removed with a very blunt knife. In fact, it's more likely it was simply chopped off. Usher, are you a passionate man? <laughs> Did you keep the tongue? Is Not it in your pocket? But I am Will you be pleasuring yourself with it later? Call for it. George, how about you? I'm very passionate. Yes. Of course George is passionate. Especially when it comes to women. <laughs> Gee, I don't well. see what that has to do with anything. George, I mean, George is that why you're so keen like on working with Arnold and Sylvester all day? About He's a passionate kisser. This was a kiss of death. Ah, the perpetrator. He bit, bit off Anna's tongue. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> we'll never get a dental print from a wound like this. But this is still a big lead. Well, at least he's using tools this time. Put some gloves on. <laughs> Dang, dude. <laughs> Jackpot, Zack. 
a shame, but our old-time all-American sightseeing tour just came to an end. This case is now under the jurisdiction of the FBI. I'm assuming command. I'll need you to assist me in the investigation. What in the hell do you mean, Agent Morgan? I know I said I was passionate, but you can't think I did this. That's not why I'm assuming command, George. You're a suspect just as much as every other passionate man on Earth. Let me show you something. Oh, dang. There you go. Amazing, huh? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but most of the details are top secret. Oh. Well then, we've got a psychopath. Yay! We, we should be gone. No need to stay here any longer. Okay. Oh, we're good. We've got all the our dead bodies place. filled for the Just day. Give me a moment. Very well. I'll go on ahead. I can't take it any longer down here. Bishop takes queen. His rook takes your queen. Then your knight takes rook. And checkmate. Huh? Oh. Oh. My first victory in the Grandmaster ranking. <laughs> no, not Screech, Screech, Screech. Hopefully, hopefully we fix Screech, Screech, Screech. Hopefully we fixed it. I have my window set to stereo. So hopefully that fixes it. Huh? He's just like, oh darn, the psychotropes have kicked in again. All those years. Zach, they're here. Like, why? Why is he just... okay. Uh, looks like we're not hungry or tired. Time is going crazy. Trading cards. Okay. Sure, let's save. We've been through a lot of cutscenes. My <laughs> hopes and dreams are set to screech, screech, screech. Oh. It does? Oh, jeez, you're right. better? Good. Well, this mystery solved. No murder here. Oh yeah, you're right. There is an infinity loop. Ten millimeter auto bullets. But we just found Butch. She looks spry and happy. I, I, I think we're good.
No, yeah, we're good. Okay. Oh, we got our medal. Oh, oh. I, I, yeah, yeah, okay. Now we got our medal. Huh. Convenient that the undead things in my mind just, you know, have bullets. I don't know. Am I in my mind? I don't even know. Am I Zach now? Oh, that texture load, though. Not dead. So confused. We are the most toppest of top agents. Zombie band-aids. All right. Only the best for zombies. I hired this guy to protect me any day. I agree. OP. Are you not dead? Yes. 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 Seems like the way we need to go. I should explore the other ways, but it's okay. Sure. Let's just take some coffee. I could use a coffee break, I suppose. Is that it? Oh, no, wait. Yeah. Look underneath. Observe. Oh, well, I call it. What should we do? Oh, we gotta look underneath. It's squirming and jumping and bopping and booping. Maybe we should just shoot it. For central bit, okay. It's alive. Great. Yes. Great. Yep. Great. We're finding a lot of bullets. I guess because we're in a dream state. When we're in this kind of state, we have infinite ammo. Seems to be the case. I'm guessing this is just all in my mind, and maybe I'm like fighting my inner demons through this. Maybe that's what's going on here. A single hallucination would ever harm me. Well, that's good. You are better than all of us. Oh. 
And axe murder and raincoat. I gotta get ready to hit buttons to dodge. We can just change our clothes. Why? I don't know. No, we're fine. We're good. I don't know if I have a how much of a carrying capacity I have. List. I am away. Do we have items? Ten out of fifteen. So we're okay on space. Do I need a nap? I don't think so. That was my tired meter. We're fine. We don't need a nap. Mission knife. Okay, well we got a replacement knife. Another lollipop. That's what I need. First state kit medium. <laughs> Suddenly our inventory is starting to bulk up. say we're more fucked up than this guy. Oh, that's true. Racking in the money. Interesting. We kill them and we can. Ew. Sir. A smashed wheelchair. I think I see bullet holes here. Just go creaming off and splat. <laughs> hey, Anna. Doesn't seem at all perplexed or worried. Here, over here. <laughs> Maybe she looks pretty good for a dead person. Shoots at exactly the speed he means to. Double agent honor. Well, I, I mean, I just wasn't ready for this. Wait. That's something. Yep. 
Amazing. <laughs> they are a little creepy, not gonna lie. A little creepy. We haven't taken any damage yet, so I don't know, maybe I need to stop picking up med kits. Very shiny as they were. Are we having an MRI today? Fascinating. Sure, we'll save. He's just so casual and nonchalant. Key to the entrance, okay. Spoopy, mm. spoopy, spoopy. this game. Oh no 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 I want the metal I want the, I don't want to leave just yet there's a metal right there. Okay good. Good I really want that metal. Oh damn you crazy blood vines. Oh this one's actually got a gun. It's holding a little awkwardly but you know Okay. You know what? I don't. Well, if we got space for it. <sighs> okay, okay, we're good. And we're back. Agent Morgan, if you're so desperate, then why not smoke two at once? <laughs> <laughs> he makes a good point. <sighs> Hello, weird wheelchair man. What the f- No, what the hell is this guy? Who's that old man? Oh, that's Bane at age that's 90. Harry, Harry Stewart. One of the bigger problems around here. His father started up the lumber trade and founded this town. But he's a weird one, as I'm sure you can see. Always yeah, dressed like the same solution to carry his stuff into the townsfolk. And just FYI, he owns almost the entire town. Not that that makes any difference. So long as I'm around, he won't be getting away with any funny business. Sure, sure, sure. 
you know, Bane from Batman. I'm the same, Mr. Batman. Mysterious capitalist. I can maybe understand the respirator, but is the mask really necessary? Mr. Francis York Moore. Haste won't lead you to what you seek. Keep your eyes focused on your footing as we speak. So says Mr. Stewart. Yeah, there's no possible way the masked creepy guy with the respirator is our villain. Nice it's, to meet you too. No way. Yeah, it's How did you know about. my name? I make it a point to know every FBI agent. Mr. That comes Francis to my York Morgan. Information desires you. Just as you desire information too. So says Mr. Stewart. Harry, stop trying to get in our way. Keep this up, and even you'll have to answer to the law. But what's in his neck? Mr. Francis York Moore. <laughs> With each rain, our town goes mad. To our disdain, unpreventable. So sad. So says Mr. Stewart. Thanks for the warning. Then we shall depart, Mr. Francis York Moore. Mr. Francis York Moore. Everyone calls me York. Just call me York. Everybody calls me York. Except, except everybody. That's how he always is. Always spouting that nonsense. Don't give it the any dude thought. likes to make poetry. It's all gibberish. He likes song lyrics. I bet he could write a beast rap. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh. Okay, music. thank you, Thomas. Agent York, we've contacted the first witnesses to the crime scene. You can interview them where they found the dead body. Excellent. I was just about to ask if you could take me there. All clear. Yes, I would like to save. Quite thing she had, quite thing she has is she is only to hear that shit. Yeah. The body was found in the Greenvale Forest Park. That's west from here, and too far to walk. A forest park? It's the pride of the town. It has a beautiful trail leading to a viewing site over Velvet Falls. That does sound fantastic. Show me the sights. Uh, that may have to wait. We promised to be there by 1800 to interview the first witnesses to the crime scene. Chapter 4, Profiling. Oh man, we could take the van? Okay, all right, guys. Here we go. Screech, screech. Agent Morgan. Cutscene. If I could just give you a friendly warning. Are you really <laughs> upset about me taking over the case? <clears throat> I have the authority approved by the FBI to assume command. I understand you don't like it, but you will follow my orders. I'm not disputing FBI authority, but this is our town. You won't get far alone, and you gain nothing by antagonizing me. It's part of my personality. I just do things my way. I can take you off the case if you wish. Stop it, you two. <laughs> we need to solve this case, not bicker among ourselves. Mm. <sighs> oh, George, why must you be so problematic? Oh, we did it! No more screech! No more screechy screech. Ah. Uh, is there a phone booth right there? Oh, there's a phone booth right there. Where are we going? Ah, uh, no screech screech. 
I am curious how we stop and get gas. Pardon me. Blink, blink. Flash, flash. Blink, blink. It was the soul of this game, I know. Indeed it was. Sadly, we would not have endured an entire game of it. Ooh, fishing spot. Yeah, it's almost dull without the screeching. the siren just makes us go like 10 miles per hour faster. Oh, I think that's where we want to go. I think. It doesn't help me. Oh, damn it, no. Damn it. Damn it, PC, no. Uh. Okay. We're good? Okay, we're good. <laughs> I hit shift too many times. Damn it. Uh, where are we going? Are we okay. uh, sure, that way seems good. Is the bar open? Can we finally get a bar? Nope. I'll get a drink. <laughs> whoop whoop. Can we just cut across? Shortcut. start playing some different music during these bits. So no such thing as fast travel, huh? <laughs> Good lord, this map is huge. It's like Grand Theft Auto huge. Oh wait, that was a gas station. That was a gas station. I think we need gas. I think, I think we, we're set on 26%, but we have 85% of a car, so we're okay. Come in hot. Okay, I seriously thought she was completely topless for a second there. Her top just looked the exact same color of her skin. <laughs> oh. I've never seen you here before. Well, she must you well in be. town to see some sights? I see two right now. <laughs> Gina the Rose, Jack's wife. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Gina. Folks call me the Rose. <laughs> I'm Francis York Morgan, FBI special agent. But you could call me York. I'm Everyone investigating the death of Anna Graham. FBI? Wow, how cool. You do like and a lollipop. Oh, I like that scar. <laughs> Do you have any info on Anna or any suspicious individuals? Ugh. I hate that complex stuff. Let's have a I'm more just a simple town girl. I like simple, simple things. Like barbecue. Yeah. Nice Do you want gas moonlight or not? nights on the road. Hmm. <laughs> yes. And, uh -huh. and lollipops found the dirt. Do you have to have any dirt lollipops? Who really like my service? <laughs> I bet they do. They like it when I well, they like it when I put it in, and they like it when I pull it out. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> well, I, that's about that's about as unsubtle as you get. That's about as subtle as a hand grenade in a bowl of oatmeal. Hmm. All right then. Well. <laughs> Do you like the way I pump it? I, I've not experienced it, so I guess. Oh, she's talking about the gas. Just thrust it in there. God. Heaven and Hell's gas station. Wait, refuel. Car wash. Yep, definitely sure. Definitely sure. You know what? Let's go for the car wash too. Let's get that car wash. <laughs> mm, yes, yes. I th you need to get up more into the middle of the windshield. A little more. There you go. Okay. Still a little dirty, but I'll let it slide this time. Oh, I, I think we're good here. Come again. Oh, uh, believe me, there will be no other gas station I stop by but this one. You notice how to clean that particular spot. That spot is the cleanest it's been in years. Number 33. Here we go this way. Excuse me! Excuse me, police. Police coming through. What's with that thing? What's with that thing? Oh, oh that's tree. Someone's mailbox. Where are we going? Is this a dead? That's a dead end. That's a dead end. Pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. That looks like a good way to go. This map is gigantic. Good night. Uh, oh, a, hello. Getting some air. This map seems unnecessarily big. Am I, do I really need all of it? Anyone hear a thunk? I thought I heard thunking. Wait. Is that... No. This handles better than any GT game. That's possibly true. Hold up. I wish I tried. I wish I. I don't know if I should have went that way, but it looks like the road continues on in this direction. So. We get a helicopter next time, maybe. Although I don't know if I want the responsibility of driving a helicopter. I've got wildlife to see. I need to hurry. Is that the? Beep. I'm assuming this is the correct way. Okay. We're going up the mountain. Well, she did say you want to see the site, so I guess you go to the highest elevation. Da da. Ah! 
Oh no! Oh no! Okay, we're good. <laughs> okay, we might have almost flipped the car. <laughs> I have almost flipped the car. I didn't know you could. Apparently you could flip the car. Good to know. <laughs> hey, we did it. Greenvale Forest Park. Is this government land? No, it's private. Owned by Harry. This whole area? This whole mountain. That's right. I'm sure I mentioned that he owns pretty much the whole town. He used the money left by his father to buy up most of the town. Many town residents live on his land. Zach, did you hear that? This entire park, a rich man's personal playground. These country rich folk are amazing. It all looks very well kept, too. Hmm. So many questions, so little answers. And one funky tree. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. It's what everyone calls me. <laughs> it's and what everyone you are calls Jim Green? Me. That I am, son. I keep these woods. He keeps these woods. Forest Park Warden. That looks more like well, a farmer. Doing a fine warden. job. Well, I used to be a tree surgeon. And these two discovered the body. <laughs> yes, my grandchildren, Isaac and Isaiah. Found in his body, Isaac Ingram. You see that? Twins. Just like in my dream. We gotta keep an eye on these two. I'm sorry. Can I know, how long have the they boys? been up there? I want to help your investigation, but I don't want them to hear this. Very well. Emily, please. I'll just take them over there then. Thank you. Hold on. Don't do anything without asking me. These children were the first to witness the crime scene. I want to talk to them. Come on, they're just kids. They have no idea what really happened to Anna. That doesn't matter. You agree with me, right, Zach? How heartless. Do you ever think of other people's feelings, ever? Or Emily's right. I'm sorry, but this That's is a murder cold. investigation. Even for the sake of investigation, children see things in pure, simple terms. They may have seen something we adults would never spot, and they are here at our request as well. We could at least chat with them and see if they want to make a statement. Are you serious? I never joke about matters like this. I never joke. Oh my god. Don't worry. They aren't as fragile as you think. Look at them, standing so upright there. Oh. Now then, Isaac, Isaiah, tell me, what did you find here? Anna. She was so pretty. She had a red dress on. Her hair was shining. Bright gold hair. There were lots of animals around her. Squirrel, weasel, and a Oh, we know all about a squirrels. Snake. We didn't know until then. But we know now. Anna was the fairy of the forest. She was a goddess. She smiled when she saw us. She looked so happy. That's right, Isaac. Isaiah, she was a fairy. A goddess. I'm sure she is playing with those animals even now. Of course she is. Yeah, of course. Most useful information, boys. Well, Emily, you can take them now. Hmm. Okay, Zach. This is where Anna's body was. And that means our unsub. Our unknown subject was here, too. So... What? I like how he has to clarify his own abbreviation for things to himself. Start profiling. Profiling start. So. 
so cloudy, it's so foggy. In those cigarettes, damn. Zach, something is still missing. We need more clues. Depression on the grass. I think we have a clue. <clears throat> Two bent pieces of grass. Stop for a moment. Of course, the grass. It all makes sense now. As you requested, we have permission to stay and look around as needed. But what are you planning on doing? To examine the scene, of course. Basic Crime Investigation 101. We might uncover some further evidence. My men have covered this already. I seriously doubt that there is anything else to find. Well, then you and Emily can wait in the car if that's the case. But I'll take my time. Well, there wasn't Mr. Perpetrator was arrested already. <laughs> Indeed! of a vest with holes. Wait, you got a picture of a vest with holes? There's just a random picture lying around? Start profiling. An abbreviated version after the first time. on the investigation. Do your profiling, man. I want to get back there. I want that thing. Pickles. We're gonna go all the mighty can of pickles. That's a whole bunch of pickles. Ha! 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 More pickles? Oh, 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 oh. I 
I get out my Bowie knife and just cut through everything. Aha! Uh -huh. Chip with rusted metal dust. Oh. oh man, I'm getting sleepy. Oh. Start profiling. Sleep is for the weak indeed. Uh, I definitely get some sleep here. Indeed you could. Oh, there we go. Missing piece. A pinheel shoe. We found a shoe, guys. Now, shoe, piece of metal, photograph. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. It's upside down. I guess this is meant to be an anti peace sentiment then. These holes on the ground were made by uh, high stiletto heels all around here. And this depression here, Agent Morgan, I see what happened here. You certainly have a vivid imagination. An interesting theory. Don't you think, Zack? What was his name again? That Hollywood producer. That's right. Joel. Joel? We really ought to introduce George to He's like, poor Grout. Oh, poor Grout. Poor Grout, so sad, so depressed. Profiling is a little different from writing a screenplay, though. An idea being interesting doesn't make it fact. Let me enlighten you, George. The footprints reveal that one of the heels were missing from the shoes. And they're different from Anna's shoes that we saw at the office. Furthermore, there would be even more disgusting evidence if he did kneel and, well, do as you suggested. If you want proof, go ahead and try it for yourself. He knelt here for a reason other than simple perversion. She was praying. The Zach, kid said she was a goddess. What he was, was he doing in front of Anna? <clears throat> Profiling start. Called it. Just like the twins said. She was a goddess. Just like the twins said. The it took too good. Our unknown subject offered prayers to Anna's body. It's bitten out tongue, massive body wound. Once dead Anna was transformed from an object of despite into one of worship. So who is Miss Stiletto Heels? The steps are close coming up to the body. 
and then farther apart going away. There was a reason to hurry away then. <clears throat> that settles it then, George. Miss Stiletto Heels is a third party here. She's not the murderer. No one runs away from an object of worship. She could be another victim who was with Anna. Or perhaps an accomplice who fled for some reason. She is also one who took whatever it was Anna was holding on to in her hand. But why? Why did she leave her here? I, Only Miss Stiletto oh, Heels knows the reason for that. She might know something about the man with the reversed peace mark, too. The How many women wear high stiletto heels in this town, do you think? Oh, I should think most of them have at least one pair. I do, too, before you ask. But nobody would come all the way out here wearing them, except, well, except maybe one person. Don't keep me in the dark, then. Who might this elegant lady be? Diane, the owner of the art gallery. But she's out of town for a big art auction. I heard she'll be coming back in a couple days. <clears throat> then we'll just have to give her a warm welcome home. A more immediate matter, then. Where in town can you find something like this? It should be a building that isn't used anymore, with either a lot of metal or metal machinery or something like that. The, the old, old lumber, lumber mill. mill. The old lumber mill. Then it's time to really get this show on the road. Could you guide me to this perfect setting for extravagant murder? He's really getting into this. Making money, making money, making money. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for me. I'm gonna call it here for the night. Thank you all so much for stopping by. I need my sleep. I should have stopped at the last save point. But I had to know. I had to know. It seems like a good place to leave off. So, keeping the mightiest barbarians that you can be, I'm going to go pass out. I'm so ready to pass out. <laughs> I will see you all tomorrow. The plan for tomorrow will be Link to the Past speedruns and more Deadly Premonition. So, take care, guys. Have a great night. I'll catch you next time. Let's find somebody.